Welcome to the ICEA Professional Development Series Curriculum Design Tutorial. ICEA is committed to setting our members up for success with a high standard of professionalism. We want to help you build an exciting and dynamic curriculum that will have your students coming back for more. As an educator, you will need to meet a variety of learner needs so your curriculum needs to reflect that in the outline and in the teaching strategies. It's important to note that each learner brings with them certain preconceived ideas as well as their learning styles. This is a challenge that may seem frightening at first, but with a few simple steps can be very rewarding. What is a curriculum? A curriculum is a list of subjects comprising a course of study and the methodology for presenting those subjects. While it seems like a Herculean task to put all that you want to teach down on paper in a prescribed format, at the end you will more clearly see your strengths and weaknesses and be able to more efficiently meet your learners' needs. The basic parts of a curriculum are the objectives, the outline, the timing, and the teaching strategies that you will use. When creating an objective, keep them SMART. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, and Time Bound. For objectives to be specific, they should be clear on what is expected and how it will make a change. To be measurable, the target needs to be quantified and the objectives can be written in a way that could be used as an exam question. These are also vital in preparing documentation for application for nursing CEs. Objectives need to be achievable for every learner, not above the level of understanding or achievement of the learner. Likewise, the objective should be realistic. And finally, the objective should be completed in a reasonable period of time. Here is an example of an objective with the active and attainable verb list. With the measurable number 4, the topic comfort measures would be specific to your class. The objective will be covered during the identified segment, which is a definite time assigned to it, and it is relevant to the overall topic of labor. When writing behavioral ob objectives, you might want to become familiar with Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's divided the way people learn into six ways so that you can focus on writing objectives. Available for over 60 years, Bloom's Taxonomy helps raise the bar and presents a higher level of education. In placing all of the components of a curriculum into the curriculum template, the objectives are typically entered first, and then an outline is created that will help the educator cover required materials. It can be a topic outline or a sentence outline whichever is most helpful. Generally, learners remember a higher percentage of what is learned by actually doing the act rather than simply reading about it or hearing a lecture. When you are selecting teaching strategies to enhance the learning experience of the learner, use several strategies for each objective to help solidify what you're trying to present to the learners. This list of teaching strategies from the classic text Childbirth Education Practice Research and Theory by Francine Nichols and Sharon Humanick helps the educator choose the best strategies for the topic and the audience. Once you've identified all of the teaching strategies you will be using for a particular objective and outline, 
List those under Teaching Strategies in your template. The final segment of your curriculum to enter is the time it takes to effectively teach an objective. Sometimes doing a simple run-through will help you to calculate the total number of minutes for each objective, and then adding the numbers together will help you estimate the total length of your presentation or class. The timing column for your curriculum goes between the outline column and the teaching strategies column on the template. So in review, your curriculum should have at the center focus the learner. The curriculum should flow in a logical fashion and be balanced as far as teaching strategies. The information must be evidence-based, updated regularly, and presented in an unbiased way. This means taking a look not only at word choices, but also voice inflection and body language of the presenter. The topics presented should be relevant to the overall topic. Do you have questions? Please contact the ICEA IAT Chair or the Certification Staff Member at the main office. Thanks for your time.